Wait, we'll uh, we'll start. That's just the pre-show, you know, where we just sit here and talk and banter. All right, you ready? Yeah, for sure. I'm ready. All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my talk show. I'm your host, I'm One Rebel. This is my talk show, Late Night of Rebel, and we have our special guest here, Malachichi. How are you doing today, my dude? I'm doing great. I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing excellent. Thank you so much for asking. So I have a bunch of questions uh, I wanted to ask you, and obviously you're here as my right. guest. So uh, the first mm -hmm. thing um, I noticed is that obviously you, you are more of a YouTuber, right? And you become more of a... Yes. You know, you do stream here and there. What I've mm -hmm. noticed yeah, is that... I mean, um, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Go, go. Uh, okay. I was, go. <laughs> sorry. I was just... Um, so you're more of a YouTuber, and uh, I'm no shy to that. I've, I've interviewed in, uh, YouTubers and stuff like that, like James Key and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. So you started off on YouTube. You did, like, Gary's Mod videos and stuff like that, and then you started doing... Uh, you, you started making videos about the Gun and Knuckles, and, hey, I saw it. You were you Gun and Knuckles at one point. So <laughs> that was the thing. I was. I was a... Uh, I was a... Uh, me and my... Hey, uh, one of my good buddies, <clears throat> the Mass Luchador, we, I think, when it came to the Uganda Knuckles, we really did things that people didn't do. So mm -hmm. people really stayed in the, uh, you know, do you know the way, click, click, click. Yeah, but, yeah. But me and my friend, we really, really did other things with it. We had the Knuckles become superheroes. We had the Knuckles, just different Knuckles avatars. There's like mm -hmm. Supreme Deity Knuckles. Like there's Toxic Knuckles, just a, st a ton of stuff. And so the Uganda Knuckles for me was like, I think one of the best times in VR chat that I've had. It was really fun doing those videos. Okay. And then back to Gmod, those days were, I was playing Gmod with my cousins <laughs> just in a living room. So it's crazy to see how far I've come and what games I've played, but yeah. It's funny because I actually used to play and used to, I used to be a YouTuber back in the day. I didn't have a lot of views or anything, but I actually started playing. The first videos I made was was Gary's Mod Trouble and Terrorist. That's why I actually played all the time. And oh really? Prop yeah, yeah, I think the first, the very first G Mod uh, game I've ever played was I think Prop Hunt, just with the default models. Yeah. And uh, the first time playing that was like, I don't know, mind blowing. I've always played Call of Duty. So when I played Gmod, I was like, whoa, what the heck? There's more games other yeah. than FPS games? Like, what the? <laughs> you know, so. Story games, what's that? <laughs> this is intense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, do you, So let's let's get right into the, the story. Let's, let's get everything going here. So how did you actually find out about right. VRChat, like, initially? Like, the first, like, how did you figure Did you watch like, another YouTuber? Did you watch a Twitch streamer? Did you watch, like, I don't no, know, some random um, memes? Yeah, the, so when I first heard about VR chat was the Uganda Knuckles meme. Okay. As soon as it like started getting popular, mm. um, we hopped on the game, and then yeah, from there on, that's the very first time I heard of VR chat. Okay, interesting. I played. Uh, I started playing just before you got Knuckles, like about like two weeks. So I was there. Oh really? I'm just yeah. I'm... I know the Knuckles. Uh, they brought a lot of people to the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. Uh, well, the highest amount of. The peak uh, for most players in VRChat, or concurrent players in Steam, according, was in uh, December, mm -hmm. or sorry, not December, uh, January of 2018. Uh, Young and Knuckles started oh, yeah. in the end of December of 2017, and it had 20,000 yeah. players playing VRChat, and that was the most. Now we're back to about really? seventeen to 18,000 players, so we're actually almost beating that record now. Almost That's like crazy. two years later, because of just uh, COVID-19 and everything. Yeah, clappers. Yeah, everyone's home. Everyone's home, and... Got oh yeah, I, speaking of clappers, just to let you guys know in the in the chat, if you put exclamation point audience, um, there's a special uh, link you can click, and then if you donate a certain amount of bits, you can actually like sort of influence the, the, the stream. So like if you donate exactly like 300 bits, you can like make a, like a clapping noise or boo or whatever. So. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. Yeah. It's so interactive. That's awesome. Yeah, but only I can hear it, though. So when you <laughs> or it'll help, oh. say, like, heck yeah, or nope, or, like, do you like anime? Yeah. Nope. And you'd be like, only I can hear it. So they're going to be like, okay. So they can okay. they can kind of troll. <laughs> anyway, yeah. back on okay. track. So um, so you started playing VR chat. You started with Gun and Knuckles. Man. Heck yes. <laughs> there you go. He's just said... <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Anyway, so uh, you started playing VR chat because you're on Knuckles. And then um, shortly after that, you started doing, uh, you know, some videos here and there. And I noticed that one of the big things that you're probably more known for nowadays is the My Hero Academia RP or like role play, right? So how did yeah, you uh, get into that? Like, how did you um, decide to do that in um, VR chat? 
So, uh, I'm a big anime fan. Okay. And um, in VR chat, there was this My Hero World. They had just My Hero avatars. And we're, me and my friends, we went there. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, we in video games, we don't necessarily plan things out. Mm-hmm. We just go in there, have fun, do whatever. And so, <clears throat> we found these My Hero models... And my friends were doing impressions. I don't if you if you watch the videos, I don't ne- necessarily do impressions, just because I suck at them. But my friends are like they're comedy gold, mm-hmm. and so they usually do like voice impressions and stuff. And one of them did a Bakugo impression, mm-hmm. and it was just just had us rolling. And then when I uploaded, I didn't wasn't sure if I was gonna upload that video. It was just like a oh crap, I need a video. I haven't posted in you know almost a week. Got to upload something. I scrambled around this footage of this us messing around as my hero characters, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, I uploaded it, and then it just took off for some reason. People started liking my hero, and so, and we we're my hero fans too, so it was like a win-win situation, really. I get you. That's cool though, because like you've taken it like, <clears throat> you know, it probably started off as just like a one-off thing, but then you're like, oh wow, there's a lot of people that actually like this idea. So now you're going like, hey, let's go to the beach episode. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's go to like do this. Oh, like yeah, oh, here's exactly. a kid and it's like grandpa. It's like what's uh-huh. going? <laughs> yeah, we do. We've done so many. We actually created our own little like anime series within the My Hero. It's like an alternate universe, mm-hmm. really. I think that's why people like it because it's the their favorite anime characters, but doing things that. You know they haven't seen on the anime so I, I think that's what people really resonate with mm-hmm. and so for us we actually made this um kind of like a season so there's season one and then and then there's season two it's like a like eight videos they all have one overall story mm-hmm. and um season two we really brought in a ton of my hero characters just different models different types and we just call them just like a they were from another universe Mm-hmm. And so we really created our own story, and I think it was like really something really cool, and really fun that people liked and they enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, I, I mean, hey, it's entertaining, man. I mean, people love it, so you got to keep yeah, doing it, right? It have you yeah. ever, have you ever thought about I doing know. like uh well i'll give an example one of my good friends shinikami he does uh goku role play or like uh dragon ball z so he mm-hmm. he actually can do like yeah. the goku voice and then he has a friend that does like vegeta and like another person who does right. um what's that guy's name uh bidra or whatever they, they, they whatever anyway they, they have like they have like some of the later <laughs> characters come in and stuff like that oh, have, okay have you ever thought about having like crossover episodes of like different um animes and yeah like, we different... actually um I think last month in March we did a crossover of Seven Deadly Sins and My Hero. Okay. Um, we we have done anime separately from My Hero, mm-hmm. but I think most of the people like My Hero. But I really want to do more than just My Hero. Yeah. I think it's it'd be nice to it would be refreshing for sure. The branch then, out, yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, we we do we've done crossovers and we we've done other animes before for sure. Definitely. What's uh what's an interesting what's what's a funny moment? Have you ever done like uh I haven't watched every video, but have you done like karaoke and like just like really like just out of the norm, <laughs> like really weird um, stuff? We oh <laughs> if you wanna talk I don't know how lewd you can get on your show. I mean um, this is we, mature rating, so weird shit. Alright. Okay, we we've done some weird shit. Um let's see. So this this one character in my hero, his name's Mineta. He's like a really pervy guy. Okay. <laughs> And I think this video is a fan favorite. So since he's so pervy, we, I titled the video Teaching Him Manners. Mm-hmm. And I kind of had a couple of videos titled that with different characters. But so in this video, you know, he was pervy, lewd, stuff like that. Yeah. And um, we asked, we met this girl in this world and uh, she, we tried, we asked her if she wanted help. She said yes. And so we, <laughs> so we had the girl and Mineta on the couch and um, they were, Basically, just role playing, have them having sex, mm-hmm. and then we told the girl to moan, and we didn't think she'd actually do it, but she actually did it, and it, I think that was the most awkward and the most weirdest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Just someone just moaning virtually. It, it was weird. It was a weird experience. Damn, dude. It really was. Video demonetized. But there's a ton of moments like that that we've had. <laughs> <laughs> exactly demonetized. Damn, dude. Interesting. Don't expose me, bro. I did nothing. Okay, dude. Expose your friend. It is what it is, man. Oh, yeah. It is what it is. 
I mean, <laughs> I've seen weirder things in VR chat. Don't worry, man. I mean, every day there's something weird that goes on in this game, you know? Just... Oh, for sure. I've seen a model that was fully nude. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's uh, that's a daily occurrence. So. That's why I just do my talk show. I, I, don't, I can't go to Publix anymore. If I go to Publix, I feel like... I'm just yeah. going to get in trouble, you know? <laughs> yeah, something <laughs> so, might happen. <laughs> so let's talk about your avatar, you know? It's like uh, I think a lot of people yes. would probably say, you know, you have the M on your chest. Uh, it's for your own I character. Do. But um, it I, is. I think so obviously, you know, it's very uh, resembling of like a comic book character. Like, t- Tell us about your uh, avatar. <clears throat> Um, so this is, so this avatar is, um, so this is what I call my hero, my pro hero suit. Mm-hmm. This is the suit that I wear when I've actually made it as a hero. Um, and then before this, I was actually, it's cool if I change. Yeah, sure. So before this, um, I was in a Robin outfit, which a lot of people like and stuff. So yeah, it was me, my real life persona in like a robin outfit and um you know i can't just have someone else's persona you know so this is me kind of as like a i'm a i'm like a sidekick in a way yeah you know so when i want to so as i get older get stronger stuff like that i turn into you know i become my own hero and that's where this guy comes in and the avatar is actually based off of um all might's avatar uh, all might's superhero suit and so Mm -hmm. But yeah, it changed the color scheme and stuff. We had the M. It's kind of like attached to the cape. But I couldn't throw away the Robin mask just because, I don't know, something about it. You gotta hide your identity. Yeah. What do you mean? I don't know who you are. You don't know? Oh, you don't know who I am? Yeah, who are even, you? Even when I'm in, um, even when I'm in casual clothes, man. You still gotta, still gotta have it, you know? Yeah. You c- still got the mask uh, Because we, we can't see, come on, we, uh, you gotta hide yeah, your no identity. Come on, man. Exactly. Superhero one on one. Superman with the glasses. Yeah. Right? No, I'm I'm secretly way. I'm secretly Superman. I'm just in disguise as a redhead. Oh, yeah. You know, you're pretty, you're pretty hot, Superman. Yeah, hot Superman I'm alternate glasses. Superman. If Superman was Superwoman and had red oh, yeah. hair and yeah, I was an interviewer. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> that's that's crazy. I know. You're doing things to me. Of course. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. But yeah, this is so yeah, this is my superhero outfit. Do you have any sidekicks? Do I have sidekicks? No. Uh, I, actually, I've been thinking of having a sidekick. He had the same color scheme, but at the moment, no, I don't. Okay. No sidekicks. Do you have any uh, Sim family or anything like that? You know what I mean by that? Like, like, mo- like a mom, dad. Like when people have the VR uh, chat. Yeah, VR like, uh, yeah, like son, daughter. Um, for reels, no, I don't. But um, for videos, I do. So we started this kind of like this series in our videos mm-hmm. where I've adopted like baby my hero characters. Okay. And so in the videos, yeah, but like if I'm just on VR chat playing, no, I don't have a VR family. Okay. I get you. Everyone's like yeah. Robin, Pog. Yeah, <laughs> Robin, Robin Hood. Even though Robin Hood looks nothing like yeah the Robin from Teen Titans. True. So uh, what? What's your superhero ability? You know, like if you're a comic book hero, what's your what's your power? Like, what can you do? Oh, so me? I'm I'm quirkless. I have no I have no superhero. What ability. the heck? You're just some dude. I can just stab that's you, and that's the end until, of it. Until actually, I can actually show you here. Okay. So that's the story I'm going with. Until, you know. You just have a gun, honestly. He's just like, I have no powers. Right, pulls yeah, out a Glock. Boom, boom. It's <laughs> just like, what the heck? A gun and some bag about to rob you. <laughs> but, um, so really yeah. what my power is, um, it's called pure. And it's very corny, but. Oh, you can't do a, oh, sorry, you can't do emotes okay, when, do when, 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 oh, okay. when you're sitting in these chairs, by the way, it, it, it disables. Oh, when you're sitting in the chair. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I saw you trying, trying okay, to do you it. You want to stand up and do it? Yeah, you have to stand up because in this right. world, um, it, <laughs> chairs disable stuff. So my quirk, it's kind of, um, let's see. It's called pure because I can draw out the pure light in my heart. Whoa. So I'm kind of like an angel in a way. Okay. And then... They're superpowers. I don't want to do them here. They might lag out. All right. Yeah. And stuff like that. But. You're just too powerful, man. Um, you went from quirkless to, like, just, yeah, god you know? RP, dude. You're just a god, exactly, dude. Exactly. You know, it's <laughs> the shonen main character, you know? 
And then, um, since it's also pure, there's pure light, there's also pure darkness, and so... Whoa, that's when you go evil, bro. The, like a fallen in. Yeah, go evil. Am I a hero? Am I a villain? Who knows? Yeah. Oh, villain, but yeah. So these have, like, crazy cool powers, but... I get you. No, I don't really wanna... Don't wanna do them here. Alright. But yeah, uh, that's my, that's my superhero ability. Uh... Um, Sir, I had to uh, turn off the, the, the camera and turn it back on because your head was cut off, but I, I fixed it. They could see oh, what yeah. you're doing. Um, oh, can they? Yeah, yeah. It's all good now. All right. Sweet. But yeah, that's cool, though, bro. Like, you got, like, your you got your good side, your angel side, you got your demon <laughs> form, dude. Like, what the heck, bro? Yeah. It's very anime-like. Yeah, yeah. I'm a weeb. Next, you can start. Bit of a weeb. Get like a spirit bomb. Like, uh, lend your strength. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh like... my god. <laughs> no, that was um, that was something when the Uganda Knuckles was coming out. Yeah. Before we did the My Hero videos, we were doing like Uganda Knuckles, Dragon Ball Z stuff, and just oh hell yeah, Dragon Ball Z type of things. So yeah, we did Dragon Ball Z was a uh, some some of the types of things we did. I get you. But... So you say like uh, My Hero Academia is where you find like a lot of your inspiration for a lot of your videos and like your characters and stuff, or do you want to like, you know, well, you did say you want to branch out more, but like, do you want to like, for, yeah. okay, like, um, where do you, where do you want to take it? Do you want to like, what, what kind of enemies are you looking to uh, branch I out to? I want to be able to do, I mean, most, since we're like, um, centered around heroes and stuff, so I, I kind of want to just stay around the shonen genre. So mm -hmm. like Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, Demon Slayer, those type of animes. Okay. Seven Deadly. Um, but we did we did a B Stars video recently, and I think that was one of the funniest videos we've ever done. Just goofing off. We were basically just acting acting like furries, and <laughs> I don't know. It was just it was so chaotic that we had a blast. I think those okay. are the types of videos that I I just want to do. Just so not necessarily my hero themed, but at least some t one anime, you know. Yeah. As long saying. as it's anime thing, I think I'm I'm fine with it. Do you uh do you edit your own videos or do you have an editor? I do. I edit my own videos. Um, sometimes I would have someone subtitle them, mm -hmm. and then I'll do everything else. But most of the time, I do edit my own videos. Yeah. I I can't imagine. I, I've always seen this in like the viewer chat category for YouTube. Whenever like someone like mm -hmm. subtitles the whole video, I'm like, dude, that must take like 30 hours, yeah. dude. Like every time someone talk, like, it takes... it's like it's like, dude, stop talking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, and it's so I subtitle everyone in the video but myself, and so it kind of gives me a little breather. Okay. Because you know I'm talking a yeah, lot, yeah, yeah. so are my friends. But if I'm yeah, subtitling is one of the things that I I need to take breaks on because it's so long and it's so tedious sometimes, and so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, subtitling is something that I despise. Yeah, but I don't know. I think it's just like a popular trend everyone does because it's just I don't know. I guess people just because they like the, like the flashy like you know like yeah. Stuff I think going I think on. it really bring it. I think it adds to the video yeah. subtitles mm -hmm. and having it just like pop or shake or get bigger when someone's screaming or something. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it adds to the overall yeah quality of the video. So exactly. It's tedious, but I think it. Uh, it's works worth out it. In the end. Yeah, it's worth it in the end. Yeah. I, I hundred percent agree on you on that. I uh, <laughs> I need to get back into doing YouTube. It's, it's funny because I only do these interviews on Twitch. Like I don't even put them on mm -hmm. YouTube. Like I want to edit them, but it just takes too long. Right. And I think I feel like yeah. the meta of like YouTube is like no one's gonna sit there for an hour and just be like, <laughs> like for an hour. Yeah. So I, so I <laughs> might. Uh, so I so I got an idea from a friend where I, I should start taking like just clips like if you ever watch like uh mm -hmm. on youtube like conan or whatever they don't show the whole interview just, yeah, yeah. they just show like two right, minutes of the interview true. just like the funniest yeah. moment so i might start doing that it'll mm -hmm. be easier and just edit I that i think that'll be good because youtube i think now is a good way to to grow to grow yourself on twitch yeah 100 audience transfer over yep so i mean you should totally do that i mean that'd be cool just highlights of Mm -hmm. Your streams or your podcast? I think like really Malachichi cool. talks about That's that one idea. time with his friend where they they had the, did the <laughs> ERP, dude. They were ERP. Yeah. Sex and VR. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's the title of the video. Of my life. <laughs> I honestly felt like I was filming a porno. Casting in couch. Virtual reality. Yeah, that's what it was like. Oh, that just brought up another memory. <laughs> hey man. Do you know that meme? Do you know that uh, meme with like the. They have the the little teeny white girl on the couch. Yeah, and all the four guys. Yeah, the, the uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we kind of did something like that too. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I've seen I seen plenty of photos, uh, screenshots from beer chat that are very similar to that. You know, different uh, different types yeah. of people you know, involved. It's, it's very interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, let's just leave it there. You know, I don't want a three day vacation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> You know what a three-day vacation is? I started saying this as an inside joke. Three-day vacation is what I refer to as a suspension on Twitch. So instead of saying, oh, I got banned for three days, I'll just say, I, I got a three-day vacation, guys. Oh, three-day three day vacation. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. It's a good insider. Um, so next question is, um, so you've been playing VRChat for a while now, obviously. And uh, uh, do you have any interest in, like, Udon or updates to the game or anything? Or just oh, sort of... Oh, yes. Okay, well... What, what are you interested in? Like, have you... Oh, sorry, sorry. Udon. Udon is amazing. I think Udon's great for this game. I think it, it really livened up the game modes. Mm-hmm. A lot of the game modes on, on VR chat I didn't find really interesting. And so Udon, what's, there's this freeze tag world. Oh my gosh, it's so yep. much fun. What's I played it last game? night. It was a lot of fun, yeah. But like Udon, I think I think Udon's a game changer mm-hmm. for VR chat. And like it just came out and they've already created some really cool things. So in the future, hopefully it gets better. Mm-hmm. But I'm excited for Udon. Udon's really cool. Ever have you ever uh, dabbled into any like avatar creation or world creation, or do you have people uh, help you out with all that stuff? I've tried. I've tried to do um, avatar creation, mm-hmm. and it's too much. It's too difficult for me. I, I get you. So I have I have friends who I've met on VR chat who I pay some of them, and then some mm-hmm. of them just do it out of the kindness of yeah. their heart. But I get you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not. A, I can't create models or worlds. <laughs> oh, I I can't do. Mo- I can do gestures though. Like I can pull this out and you know do this. Like I know how to do these gestures and like do stuff like that. Um, so it that's, seems so complicated. Um, it's, it's just animations. It's, it, it, doing gestures yeah. is kind of easy. It just it's kind of tedious, but it takes a little bit of effort. But uh, I know how to do it, and I know how to upload my own avatars and do shaders and stuff. But actually yeah, making I avatars, that. I that's oh, I can't yeah, do that. Straight from scratch. Yeah, yeah. But, uploading, I thought public like uploading a model onto your VR chat account was difficult. That's how bad I am. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> I dude. That was hard. <laughs> um, for me, world creation is fun, but just it's I say it's easier because like it's just like building blocks as a kid. It's like it's like playing like Mega Blocks or something. You're just playing with Legos. You're just oh, like, all right, right. Pff, splatting yeah, this out, pull out the walls. On, yeah. yeah, like I'll put That's the shader cool. on. So it's like a. I don't know, I just built this in a couple hours, but uh What's like the most what's the most fun part about building a world? I would assume like just decorating it maybe? I yeah. Don't know. Just like decorating Thank it. You. Well fi- well the, the biggest challenge for this world is figure out how to do this camera thing. It took me like literally hours because like it kept in working. I was like, Oh my god, I was like, why is it not working? And then yeah, eventually and then um I figured it out. Well, well, I had some help from from friends because they know how to do stuff, mm-hmm. uh, you know, triggers and stuff a lot e- a lot better than me scripting. But uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, awesome. it it's fun, you know, because like uh, I made presentation room plus if you did if you didn't know that. Oh, did you? Yeah, that was me. Wow, dang! I so ran in, I ran into your your creations. Yeah. So uh, that giant wall is uh, I made that too. That was mm. my giant friends wall. 440 oh, people that's in legit. there. Yeah. I want to make like a like a Stark Tower type of place. Okay. Since I'm a superhero nerd. Big like, Stark Tower. It's kind of like a mm-hmm. uh, just a hangout spot. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, there, it's definitely Udon, possible. Udon's great. Yeah. Udon's great because they have the Iron Man flying thing. That's the most. Oh my gosh. If there's any Udon creators out there, keep it up. You guys are amazing. Yeah, there's plenty. Um, I do agree. Like, I think that Udon is really gonna, you know, change this game. I think we'll actually have like prop hunt, and, you know, whatever mm-hmm, game yeah. mode you want, dark RP. Like, you know, we'll have like fighting sim. I don't know. Like, you can actually like beat each other up and whatever. I don't I know. This, um, I'm not sure if it's possible. I don't think it is possible yet. But um, having Udon onto a player model, like, would that ever be? Um, come out or. So the way uh, Udon works is Udon is uh, it's only for world creation right now. Yeah. But right. do you the, think they'll ever come out like that though? Um, well, if you ever watched the dev stream that happened like two weeks ago, they uh, talk about how in the next couple months, soon trademark, um, they talked about how they're gonna up- upgrade or improve avatars. So you know how like you only have like five gestures, right? 
Well, they're actually yeah. talking about having like you can have five controllers. What that means, you can have like thirty gestures on your avatar, and each hand's different. Like you have oh. this hand, you can be evil, and this hand you be good or whatever. So like you can go like oh, wow. really in depth uh, with what you want to do. Okay, so I, I guess that's a step towards it. You know, I guess that's yeah. a really good step. Um, and even talking about like uh, animations too. So like uh, you know how like you do an emote like um, I don't know like cla like this whatever right? You just point or whatever. Yeah. Well, they're talking about um. This is actually my idea. That I put in the cannery like two years ago. It's called action emotes, but basically allows you to do the emote forever. So you can like now point forever, or you just do this forever, or like, you know how like, for oh. example, like you clap. Yeah, because it'll stop. Right? Yeah, it'll stop, yeah. right? So then you can do that forever. And so you can, you can like hold like death emotes. So you're not like just on the ground dead forever until you yeah, get back just, up. Yeah. And then you can have like a, a custom like get up emote. So then you can like actually like be dead and then you can like come back and be like, mm -hmm. whoosh, like fly and be like, I'm actually whatever a God or right, just, right. Like, all these light beams. So you can actually <laughs> do a bunch of cool stuff. So a lot of, uh, more advanced, uh, avatar stuff is coming probably by the summer of 2020. So that's good. That'll also be great yeah. for the game. So, um, here's another question for you. So, What's um, up? hit me. So, um, do you have any expectations for 2020, like, uh, for your channel or just like, uh, you know, just in general with VR chat, like anything you're planning on, like, oh, big project or. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, big project. Um, so, you know, I was talking about the, like, we created our own little anime series. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So we've done, we've done two seasons. Um, big project. We kind of want to do release season three this year. Okay. Some run, sometime in the summer, so that's one thing I want to do. Um, a goal? Uh, I don't know. I take my channel slowly, a little by increments. You know, I'm not like, oh, I want to hit a million. Okay. This year, you know, I'm not like that. I try to make the goals realistic in a sense, and so. I get you. I kind of take my time up. So my goal right now is just to hit 300k. Okay. So, and then after that, I don't know. We'll t I'll probably raise it up to 310, but. Yeah, but that's all I have. I, I still want to um, grow, obviously, and I want to be able to branch out to other animes for sure this year. So. Well, hey, man, I already yeah. know what, what your next goal is. I saw you apply for Twitch Partners, so, hey, I think that's one of your goals this year, I man. I did, yeah. That is a goal also of mine. I've been streaming on Twitch the past two months, like okay. every other day. Mm -hmm. And it's actually, it's it's a, it's a, uh, it's refreshing to not edit a video to just yeah man live and just mess around i think that's i think it's good aspect to twitch it is it kind of rejuvenates me and gets me back into the creative mindset that's so. why i love streaming I like twitch, twitch is great because yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just awesome. okay click the button you're like all right guys let's go do something you just you just do what you yeah, ever want to do exactly, you want, yeah. and like you I know mean, you talk to your you chat came in that one time yeah you came in uh i think it was thursday and i was just that was yeah. something we just did on the fly it's basically simon says but it, it was fun it was cool it was interactive and yeah, yeah. I was watching. I, I was I was observing. I was like, "What's this guy doing? Let's just see." I wanted to see what you're doing. <laughs> just yelling at people. Yeah. <laughs> but um. People to listen. But yeah, that's the whole thing. Like uh, about Twitch is um, you know, it's a live audience, so you can watch. You know, you can read, to, talk to your chat. That's why there's a lot of those mm -hmm. mirror dwellers. You know, they just sit there and talk to their chat. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. But I mean, that's yeah. what they like to do. So <laughs> nothing wrong with it. But if it works for them, it works. You know. Yeah. So um, I want to tell you on a little secret here. <laughs> in the past like uh, week or probably a couple of, like I've done so many interviews that I would say in the very last week there's three mm -hmm. people I've interviewed and they all got partnered like literally the week later so really I think I don't know I got so superpowers so being on your show is like a, it's a good <laughs> luck charm then right yeah basically <laughs> good luck charm okay I'll hold you to it man <laughs> yeah this will be my fourth time oh you've applied four, time, four times yeah, this will be my fourth time. So How often yeah. can you apply? Like, is it like every week or every couple weeks? It's every. I think it's. I've applied. I've, I've had long intervals before I've applied, but I think it's every. You can apply again in the next two weeks, but I never okay. get that soon. All right. Yeah. Interesting. But. Should yeah, be able said to. That's true. Yeah. The we'll Jedi to... prophecy. We'll see. Yeah, man. We'll see. It's true. Now everyone's wondering, yo, dude, everyone, everyone's like, bro, you come on my talk show, you get partner, when, when am I going to get partner? I'm just like, I don't know, dude, it happens, <laughs> it happens, bro. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> exactly. Uh, I think, uh, I think uh, for me, I just need to keep doing what I love, and in about a week or two, I should yeah, be able to apply, yeah, so. 
Yeah, hey, first time. I hope you I hope you get there, man. Yeah, man. Your streams are definitely innovative, and I like that. Yeah, um, I like the innovative. This interview is... recently um, met Pink Trilla, but I don't know if you know her. Yep, I know her. Like, yep, the... I interviewed her. Yeah, her. She has another VR stream that I really enjoy because it's just completely interactive with the chat, too, so I think it's cool. Yeah, she's a solo role player. Solo role player. I mean, she's, well, she does it with her boyfriend now, but um, before prior oh, to that, she... um, she would just like pure whatever you typed in the chat, she would just like role play with it. Like, oh, I'm I'm coming upstairs, yeah. and the people like, oh no, don't you know, like whatever, like whatever you typed, right. she would just role play with. Yeah, it's all improv. Yeah, and that's what I thought was super cool. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely um uh, a lot of people in VR chat that uh, <clears throat> take it the next level, you know. Um, there's also role players yeah. like in terms of like Ascension Academy and Kalos Row, which is what I do oh, every really? Friday. So there's like set yeah, like I've heard role of plays. Kalos Row. Yeah, it just finished okay. uh, last Friday, uh, season finale. So now they, it's gonna it's gonna wait. Do they have like a schedule to that or what? A schedule? Kalos Row. Yeah. So when do you do you just join it randomly or what? Oh no no no! It's like a whole like whitelist thing. It's like, like uh, okay, it's, it's yeah, like you have to sign it. up. You have to like build a character. Mm -hmm. Have like. Uh, strengths and weaknesses. Uh, I I play as a mechanic named Ryder, and I fix cars. I'm kind of like Sydney from like Final Fantasy 15. You know that game, just oh, okay. like that. Yeah. I, I fix cars and stuff. I'm like the hot anime girl that fixes cars. It sounds like hot a guy. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so you that's know, you what walk I do. Up, you're leading over the car. I'm like, hey, what, you, okay, hey, what see, are you look, what are you looking at, boy? And just like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, <then. laughs> oh shit, it's a trap. All right, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah it was a lot of fun in season finale um yeah they had like a boss battle and everything and like people died and stuff if you die by the way you have to make a whole new character like it's it's permadeath this ain't no this ain't there no was, uh, main character it's like you dead you're, you're donezo <laughs> you dead you dead yeah um what was the lakuza lounge they had like this boss fight yep i thought it was super cool I yeah really i know uh i know lakuza he's a cool guy yeah, he yeah. makes uh, cool worlds. He made the Final Fantasy like 14 map or something like that. There's a world that you go to. It's like Final Fantasy, and like you do like quests. Oh, I love that game. Yeah. Oh, you actually do quests? Yeah, like it's like it takes like si it's like played... it's like six hours. Oh, shoot. Like it's a whole map. <laughs> it's, dude, it takes forever. Dude, I played Final Fantasy like religiously. Yeah. Used to. But I gotta check that out. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Yeah, you do like boss battles. There's like one where you got to parkour and like you got to dodge like stuff, and like another one you got like round. I don't know. It's like you got like swords. You have to stab yeah, stuff. So yes, dude, VR is crazy. Hey man, the future is VR. Yeah. VR is future. Exactly. Um, what else is there to say? I don't know. Like, there's just so much stuff going on. Like, um, just crazy. Like all the cool worlds you can do and. Stuff like uh, mm -hmm. you ever done the Huggies Dungeon Worlds? Huggies Dungeon is—is is that the one where you get to pick a weapon and you just go in? No, that's that's the horror map, dude. You telling me you play this game for this long? You haven't done this these maps yeah. yet? No. Oh my Show me. god! Can... Tell me this map. I will go to. <sighs> all it right, all right. It's called the Huggies Dungeon series. It's by Official Sian. I interviewed. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, he makes horror maps in VR chat. Huggies. Yeah, so um, yeah, I've heard of Huggies horror maps, and uh, he's has a whole series. Like it's, I'm not joking when I say it. it's like probably like if you do all the maps, like it's like fifty to sixty hours of content, like just like horror maps what? and like, puzzles and all this stuff. The most latest version called Chapter Three, it's like five hours long. Like I'm not even joking. Like minimalistic, you have to spend five hours in one world doing a horror map, getting chased by monsters and what like, the heck? yeah, yeah, that's insane. I gotta check that out then. That's a ton of content to just yeah. goof off it. Yeah, he did like a Halloween, uh, yeah. Christmas, uh, <clears throat> what else? Like, I don't know. He just, he just did a bunch of, it's like a whole series. It's like chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. Yeah. And he did like uh, mm -hmm. some off, like W, it's called like WKD, where it goes for like the four, like most like scary things or whatever, like like horror phobias and stuff like that. Yeah, people's minds are crazy. Like, I, like. The fact that you can think of all that stuff, it's pretty insane. Yeah. I've, I've done them all except for Chapter 3. I'm kind of dreading it because I don't like horror maps and stuff like that, <laughs> but uh, I'll do it for the entertainment, you know? Watch me scream yeah. like a girl, you know? There's some there's some gnarly horror maps. It has, it has boss battles in it, too. Boss? Dude. VR chat needs more boss battles. Yeah. 
for real. Imagine you... a Sword Art Online world recently. Oh yeah. They had a boss battle. Yeah. I thought that was uh, battle. that's uh, made by uh, Evolved Ant, one of my other good friends. Yeah, I know. I just know everyone, dude. I, I'm just yeah, know everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know that guy. That's no, good though. Yeah, it's good though. You know. Yeah, Evolved Dan, he you made that. Everyone. He made, uh, uh, what's what's it called? Star Fox? Starfire? The the N64 game? Star Fox? Yeah, yeah. yeah Star Fox. He made that in VR Chat. I don't think I've ever been there. Yeah, you actually, like, pilot the, like, the X Wing. You usually, like, shoot other the people and stuff. Yeah, or whatever the it's called. Star Wars! <laughs> okay, whatever. You, you, you pilot. I up and toss it at you. Yeah, that's right. I made this world. You can't touch anything. <laughs> Damn it. Dude. But anyway, yeah, you can you oh, can actually go. Yeah. Those, yeah, those give me nauseous. So, what are some uh, interesting worlds you've ever been to for a role play for doing like a hero video? Like, like you've done schools and probably like a pool play. and like beach. Yeah, we've done schools. Have you done like something like um, out of the ordinary, just like I don't know, like Dragon Ball Z world or like some like weird stuff, like just yeah, like yeah, the Great yeah. Pug? We've to, <laughs> yeah, we've been to most of the, the hot worlds on VR chat right now. Um, yeah. One world we went to. Shoot, I can't remember it. I get what you. Was the name? It was it was like a futuristic type of world though. It was really cool. Sci-fi. Yeah. We're okay. saving it for season three. Yeah. Sci -fi, oh, okay. Sure. All right. So, ever had no. like uh, a returning like antagonist? <laughs> returning antagonist? Yeah, yeah, we've had a returning antagonist. Before. Okay. Um, it, it, it'd be hard to explain, but yes, we have. Okay. Awesome. And we've had people come back from the dead, supposedly. Whoa. Yeah. It's next level right there, mess dude. With that stuff. Yeah, man, necromancy all... stuff, dude. Scary. I'm in Shenron. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dragon Ball. <laughs> Reminds me of Chaos where we had to we had to fight a necromancer. He was, I was I played as a zombie. Really? I played as an extra. We had like thirty oh, zombies. Really? Like Chaos Row has like sixty people in it role play and like I had to play as a zombie and I was like grabbing people and like oh Ooh, and they're like oh and you know oh, like shoot, what the yeah heck? it was fun. <laughs> Dang. I know they have this zombie map. uh... I don't know if it was made with Udon or not, but it was pretty. It was like Call of Duty Zombies. Nice. Just grab a gun, go shoot zombies. It's pretty cool. Hell yeah. That's that's the future, man. Just think of any video game and just make it in VR chat. Honestly, whatever you want. Yeah. Dude. Just... Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. There's a Spider. Man... They yeah. Connect your headset to your to your brain. I'm in. There was a Spider Man world. Sling around a yeah, Spider Man. Yeah, one you get to sling around. Yeah, that one's fun too. And then the it's called Hook Junkers. Like I think shoot so. the slingshot, yeah. that one's cool. Yeah, that's uh Yeah, the swinging Zelda, ones are awesome. Yeah. Um have you ever um well, tell me some stories from people you've met before in VR chat. Like and not just for videos, but do you play off like off sort of stream off recording and just go on your own adventures? Yeah, and... yeah. Yeah, sometimes I go on and I'll just goof off or I'll just go browse worlds for another video. But but um people I've met, uh mm -hmm. Oh man. This one guy I met, he was a he was a comedian. This was way back, like about it, maybe a year or two ago. He was like a, I think he was like forty or something. He was a comedian, and the jokes he had were like really spot, really spot on. I don't know what happened to him because you have your Steam VR account, and then you have the actual VR chat account, right? Yeah. And so I added him on my Steam VR, so I, I forgot his name and everything. But Damn. that's one person I've met. Um, I've met a ton of model creators who really helped me out. Okay. And, like, they're really cool people. Um, I met Drumsy. Me and Drumsy are good friends. Because, just mostly because I edited for him, but... Oh, you edited else. for him? Yeah, I used to edit for drums. Okay. And I'd meet him in Worlds. Interesting. Um... I interviewed him a while ago. Who else? Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, you told me you interviewed Drumsy. Yeah. He was a uh, he was a giant tuna fish when I interviewed him. <laughs> oh, is that what? Okay, I've seen that picture just flying around. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Um, I don't know. People I've met. I've met a ton of like uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of little kids on VR chat, like young people. True. And they're kind of some of them are wholesome. Some of them have like crazy potty mouths. Yeah. Sure. 
Yeah, it's, um, just, yeah, it's just like, uh, what's this kid doing in this game? How do you yeah, get VR? Who, who's yeah. dad? Who mom or dad gave yeah. him VR? Who's? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'm sitting here right working my ass there. off to get to get VR, right. and then this kid's like, "Oh yeah, nerd, <laughs> I get VR. My mom gave it to me." Yeah, I'm like, give me my hand. Give me my hand. I'm just like, uh. uh... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this, I met a lot of a lot of amazing people on VR chat. Would you? Uh, what about you? What me? Um, yeah, who have you met? <laughs> dude. Uh, I, I, Too many I, to count. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, basically. Um, I've been around the block of close to 1,400 friends in VR chat officially. Um, I mean, with that outfit, uh, yeah, I could see that. <laughs> well, I, didn't, I didn't always have this outfit. I actually played a dude for a year and a half, and then only last year I rebranded oh, really? my whole channel and became an anime yeah. waifu, and then uh, you know the rest is history, you know? I mean, those are the best. Those are the best anime waifus. Yeah. Who doesn't love an anime waifu? Yeah, I actually collected 151 waifus just like Pokemon and then just became an anime waifu. You know, it's a grand <laughs> journey. It's true. If you go to Presentation Room Plus, you click on the, the, the wall. It says waifu wall. You click it. I'm in the middle as a dude with a beard, and there's like 151 waifus around me. Boom. I'm jealous. I'm jealous of you. Hell yeah, man. I mean, bro, I, I've been around, you know. I've, I've, I'm the great collector, man. I'm going to collect a thousand waifus next. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> yeah, man. Take I got. I got to catch all. them all. I got to. Yeah, I'll do it. I mean, I'm already taking pictures of all the people I interviewed. So. Yeah. Oh, is that that's the wall right there, right? The entryway. Yep. That's all the people I've interviewed so far. That's just a hundred, but I've I've done about a hundred and forty. I'm I'm a little lazy, you know, yeah. with updating you know this yeah. world, but. <laughs> um. Yeah. I've, I've, I've definitely a lot more photos, but um. Yeah, I just ran out of room, but I'm getting a new talk show world. Um. So. It'll be awesome. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I met so many interesting Ooh, people. Cool. I met dancers, I met role players, I met people who make worlds. Uh, yeah. <sighs> oh, someone just came to mind. Um, uh, I don't know if I should name. Them. They're, I'll name the. I'll name drop them. Their name's Broccoli. Broccoli is like, I met them maybe a month or two ago. Okay. But they're like the, the most awesome, kindest person ever. I don't know. They're just hilarious. Everything they say is gold. They're. I don't know. One of the highlights of VR chat for sure. I get you. The the one interesting thing that I have to say is, despite me like playing this game almost religiously every day for four thousand hours and having fourteen hundred friends, mm -hmm. there's yeah. still so many people in this game to meet, right? Yeah, there is. For sure, there, yeah. It doesn't matter how long I play this. I can play this game. You can spend your entire life playing this game twenty four hours and still not meet every single player. That's ridiculous. That's that's crazy. Yeah. So it, it is crazy to think about. Big world, especially in VR, it's limitless. True. We'll start taking some questions in the chat here. We're almost like 40 to 50 minutes into this interview. So we'll start taking questions from the chat. So anybody has any questions for uh, Mala, Chichi, or I am. Um, listen here, Chichi. You're the nicest boy. What's up? That's what Broccoli oh, thank said. thank you. Oh, thanks, Broccoli. Yeah, we'll give it a second. Um, I guess uh, while while uh, we wait for some questions, I always ask this, but what are you grateful for uh, in general? Or I, oh, in general, I'm grateful. Well, obviously, I'm grateful for you know the roof over my head, food that I get to have on the table every night that some people don't. Um, I'm also grateful for just my fans who support me because without them, honestly, I I really wouldn't be able to be here and do the things that I'm doing right now. So. I, I, I do feel like I owe things to them, you mm. know, and I owe I owe them some entertainment. Um, and I'm really grateful for my friends because without them, I wouldn't... Without them, I honestly wouldn't be able to do this because mm -hmm. they help me a ton now with my with my videos. So I'm grateful I get you. Too. Love you guys. Hearts in the chat. Uh. Mwah. Mala, what, what what first got you into YouTube? This is from totally not uh, eternally. Or eternally, um, how'd you first get into I mean, YouTube? Into YouTube? Yeah. Um, so I I always thought about making a YouTube channel, um, since like two thousand six. <laughs> Damn, um, that's early. Not really sure what on though, and then I first I found Vanoss Gaming, and he inspired me. Oh yeah. Me. I was like. Yeah, I kind of came to his channel late, late, way later than everyone else. 
Isn't that the like, guy who wears the videos. bird ma oh, owl like mask? The owl, yeah. yeah, he's got like the owl mask. Yeah. So I saw Vanons Gaming, and um, he really, you know, pushed me to want to make a YouTube channel. So I made a gaming YouTube channel channel on Gmod, and uh, yeah, that's how I started YouTube. Hey, you know what? Now you can hit him up and be like, "Yo, bro, I want to collab." <laughs> Just like, "Hey, dude, oh, wanna bro, I want to collab." Yo, I can't do that. I'm so I'm so socially awkward. What do you mean, dude? You just get like, "Yo, yo, you think Gmod's tight, bro?" Yo, let's get in VR chat, bro. Come to VR, bro. Come on. Yo, yeah, if Udon has a prop hunt map when they make that. Then it'll a hundred percent prop hunt will happen in VR chat. A hundred percent, no doubt in my mind. It just take a little really? bit of time. Yeah, hundred percent. Gmod, uh, Gmod two with the new Half Life Alex. Oh, hey, 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 you know, hey, you know what you're talking about. Hey, yep. I, yeah, that's what I've been saying. Everyone's just like, oh, Half-Life Alex. I'm like, dude, you got to realize Source yeah. 2 is going to be the future to Gary's Mod 2. And then we're going to have VR. Look past it. Yeah, don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That'll be amazing. That'd be amazing. Um, yeah, it's, hey, it's still a really high popular game. It's, it's like 13 yeah. years old or whatever. Like, it. it it's, yeah, it's ancient. Um, is this suit based off of Nightwing? No, the suit's not based off Nightwing. <laughs> um, it's not. I know the previous suit was Robin, but this one's not. Is there a secret relationship of Arrow? Arrow's one of my friends that the fans ship me with. <laughs> no, there's no secret relationship, people. I'm not dating one of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's not a secret. It's just Meryl open. It's happen. just open. Yeah, it's open. Come yeah, everyone should know it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got him. Um, how long have you been doing YouTube, and when do you start? Uh, when did you start your your Twitch? You said it's like two months ago, but when did you start doing like actual YouTube stuff? Um, so I did, so I did Twitch. Uh, I started Twitch January 2019. Okay. Last I started year. streaming. Um, YouTube, I started 2015 July. So I've been doing it almost five years. Yeah, almost five I years get you. summer. Um, uh, on partnership, any major goals for partnerships such as events? I guess that means like, yeah, like, like um, to like celebrate. I guess. Yeah, I mean, I haven't thought that far. Obviously, I want to do some celebratory things if I get partnered. Mm -hmm. Um, something that I'm really looking forward to is having sixteen emotes. Cause I have so many emotes in mind that I want, and just not enough yeah. slots, not enough spaces. Same. And I know you could do a lot of a lot of things with emotes, and so that's one thing I want to do. But um, I don't know. Maybe you guys can give me some ideas on what I could do. Need some like. Oh, I uh, want to do something fun. Get like uh, you know, you, you you can always have like like a couple of different emotes like branch out together, so you can have like a Kamehameha wave, and it's like. like yeah, like the emotes that yeah. make one thing. I like those. Those are those are dope. You could do something like that. Or like uh, some people do like the like the muscles like the arms, like this. Mm -hmm. I've seen the give me power ones, yeah. with like the flames. Those are cool. Will we ever see your eyes under the mask? <laughs> yes, you will. Actually, that's coming soon. Okay. So be prepared. Is there a secret relationship with Deku? <laughs> was. <laughs> okay, so so when the My Hero stuff really started popping off. Yeah. We didn't know about this, but we, we kind of, um, in one of the videos, we had Bakugo and Deku mm -hmm. just, like, flirting with each other. And we didn't know that was, like, a really popular thing amongst the My Hero fandom. We didn't know that they were into ships, especially that type of ship. And so we did that once, and then now people just, a ton of people love ships, and so they ship me and my friends. But there's no Deku ship. I don't know why you would think that. <laughs> but sorry to Sorry to disappoint you. Ever, uh, here's an idea for you. Have you ever done, like, um, maybe you have, but have you ever done, like, a role play where, like, you're in a house and you just sort of, like, do, like, house RP where, like, you have, like, uh, Deku as, like, mom and dad and just, like, I don't know, like, sort of like that type of thing? <laughs> uh, I've, well, I've had Deku's parents. I've actually introduced them, and we have actually created our own dad ad for Deku. Okay. And so they'll make an appearance every now and then, um... Yeah, we actually took the My Hero. We had Deku. I don't know if you know the characters, but we had Deku's mom, Bakugo's mom, and Todoroki's mom, and we just had one video video dedicated to them, and they went on like a cruise. That was really fun. But um, in a house, I mean, I th we've done something similar to that. Yeah, I would say. 
Mansion party. Slumber party. Mansion party. Slumber party. There's a ton of stuff we could do, really. Slumber party. Just get all the female avatars. Like, oh, hey. Oh, oh, hey. Yeah. I'll... T Oh, what's the oh. boys you like? And like, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> I have a little pillow fight in there. Yeah. I don't know, who knows? Something something might happen. I'm not going to say what, though. Oh, okay. I'm giving this guy ideas. Hey, the next video, when you see the third slumber party, hey, that was yeah, my idea. Yeah. That's okay, yeah, man. You can use you it. <laughs> yeah, thanks to this one guy who, was, who interviewed me at one point in time. <laughs> Gave me the greatest idea ever. <laughs> um, Let me see here. Uh. Ch -ch 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 is there a, what? all these questions are just is there a secret relationship of insert x character what, what, what are these questions are there's no there's no secret relationship guys all right i'm sorry there's there just isn't um, i don't know man it boggles my mind too well so how did you get get over his fears of wee wees <laughs> so i have this one friend who's um he really hates the the word wee wees. I think he's had a traumatic experience, but oh. whenever you say wee wee around him, he flips out, and uh, it's great content actually. So I don't think he'll <laughs> ever get over his fear of that. No. All right. <laughs> uh, whoops. Uh, will Malachichi ever be shipped to Sanji? Smooch, smooch, kiss, kiss. Okay. No. Uh, why hasn't uh, <laughs> Why hasn't Lucha uh, been around in the videos lately? Uh, Luca or Lucha? Um. Yeah, Lucha. Um, so he was the guy I told you we did the knuckles mm -hmm. and stuff with. Mm -hmm. Um, he hasn't really been around in the videos just because he been wanting to branch out, and VR chat was getting kind of stale during okay. this time. And so you know we try other things with this channel, but I mean yeah, we're in Discord where you haven't, you know we're still friends. Why don't you have eyebrows? <clears throat> Do I not have eyebrows? I don't know. No, you don't. Uh -huh. They got all. Oh, they got burnt off in a uh, in an accident. Yeah, man. Accident. You gotta know what his expressions or are. Actually, you know, when when I do this, they just they get burnt off. So you yeah, know. it makes sense. It's the heat. Makes sense. Yeah. I get you. Makes sense. Do you uh do you have any questions for me? Like me, like for you? you? Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. I think I asked how how long what. No, I don't think I did. You were playing right a little before you got into Knuckles? I started when playing uh, December 10th, 2017. December 10th? Okay. And so what What did you, did you just like, did you start with a VR? Because I know a lot of people don't start with a VR. No, no, like I started, started with, with uh, I started desktop for about a month. And then I got VR. For about a month? Yeah. Oh, um, really? Only for a month? Dang. Yeah, because... Um, well, I was uh, around when the game first. If you didn't know, uh, VRChat blew up on Twitch. Like uh, a lot of streamers were playing and stuff like that. Yeah. So um, that's when I first got introduced to the game. It was like early December, and then I started playing December tenth. And I didn't really know they could just play in desktop mm -hmm. mode. So I started playing, and I actually was a part of uh, Team Five. You know what that is? Uh, it's, it doesn't exist anymore. It's, anyway. uh, it doesn't exist. Uh, it's like uh, it's like uh, one of those Twitch teams. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Sort of like that. Like and then uh, I was a part yeah. of that. It was like the largest like team for like VR chat streamers. Um, and then I was a okay. part of that. And then I streamed. I started streaming the uh, in the late of twenty seventeen. Or yeah, so I started. I started playing, and then like two weeks later, I started streaming. And then uh, because of streaming and because I was a part of the community, um, I got funded a yeah. VR headset from fans, and I got my first Oculus oh, Rift. Dang. And then uh, that's how I got into oh, VR. You got the Rift. Yeah, and then I... Are you using the Rift still now? No, or? I got Index now, bro. I'm, I'm next level, bro. Yeah. <laughs> next level. Yeah, dude. man. Next level. You, know, you want to know how I got <laughs> Index? How? Um, I did 3,000 squats. Like at one time? No, I did like 300 a day. I did Well, how I did it was like I had to... Uh, it cost me like 1,500 American dollars. So I had to... um. I basically told my audience like, "Hey, if you if you donate like a dollar, I'll do like a squat." And jokingly, mm -hmm. people are like, "Oh, okay." And then I started saying like, "Oh, if if you out," and then I started saying, oh, "If if you donate a dollar, I'll do like five squats." So some days I had to do three hundred squats. Mm -hmm. Some days I had to do a hundred. Uh, most I had to do in one Dang. sitting was like three hundred and thirty. My legs it's were dying. Funny. That's so. funny that you say squats because on on my channel points on my Twitch, you yeah. it's five thousand channel points, and I do ten squats. <laughs> All right, Jeez, dude. Ten squats for. Oh my yeah. god, dude. <laughs> dude. I think last stream I did. I think I did sixty, but that's nowhere near three hundred. 
Yeah, they, they really wanted me to uh, do squats. So uh, eventually, yeah, I got the money wow. and then I bought Index and full body. So, Heck yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Any more uh, questions? Uh, yeah, 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 I got one. Um, <clears throat> are you a weeb? Are you an, a do, fan of anime? Yeah. I mean, I don't watch like, anime like, regularly as I used to when I was in high school. I'm almost 25 oh, yeah, now because yeah. I'm in college and I stream all the time. Oh, but yeah. um, yeah. the last time I watched was Demon Slayer. So... Oh, what do you think of what do you think of it? I think it was definitely because I, I went in knowing nothing. Everyone just like oh my! Everyone just like, saw it posting like the pictures. Yeah, everyone just. Yeah, uh, right, uh, right, I was just right. like, what is this? I was like, I'll, I'll watch this because I was going in because I used to watch mm -hmm. Inuyasha as a kid. So I was like, oh maybe it'll be like Inuyasha. Or, like it was all bloody and gory and yeah. whatever. And um, it was definitely uh, I, I liked that a lot. I'm I'm, um, I'm waiting for the next season. You know, we'll see what happens. You know, uh, how he deals with his sister and stuff, bro. Like. You know, you gotta, you, hey, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta gag your boys, you gotta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put a little bamboo in her mouth. Yeah, then you don't know if she's a demon, bro. Okay, easy okay, clap. Awesome. Yeah, easy clap. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's all I got. But, it. um. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see if there's any more questions. Uh, when will you finally find Nazuki a mom? What? <laughs> 300 squats and schoolgirl outfit. Oh, you have a schoolgirl outfit? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So last stream, uh, this was on Friday. I was doing, I was playing marbles with the fans. Okay. And I had my face cam on, and uh, I ordered this schoolgirl outfit. And if 100 people went into the marbles game, I would put schoolgirl outfit on. And we did it, and I went on, went into my bathroom, put on the schoolgirl outfit, and I, uh, yeah. Went on stream with a schoolgirl outfit. Damn. Probably the most feminine I'll ever be. Hopefully. What do you mean, dude? You just become a waifu like me, bro. What's wrong with that, bro? Waifu. I want I want a, a female version with like big old titties, man. That'd be sick. Yeah, bro. Mm. That's... Pixel, you think that's funny? <laughs> okay. So that's my, uh, that's my uh, camera person, uh... Pixel's a uh, person that helps me out. What I mean by camera, I mean like taking pictures. Because uh, after every interview, I take okay. a picture of the guest, and they have a special avatar okay. that the uh, it comes from Booth, the Japanese uh, community of VRChat, and it's a special add-on you have to uh -huh. actually pay money for. And it, uh, it you add it to your really? avatar, and pretty much what it does it takes special photos. Like like if you think taking pictures in VRChat is cool, it actually like does like FOV mm -hmm. and like depth of field and stuff like that. It's like it's really? like it's like way cooler than a normal camera and. Uh, the the Japanese community for VR chat, they make cool things too. Speaking of, have I ever been to the virtual market? I have. I was there last week. Okay. One world was really laggy, but people make some really cool models there. Yeah, everything everything from there is usually made from scratch. And you can also buy them too. If you want to like buy out one of those yeah, models. Yeah, you can buy them. And yeah. I think it's really cool. They should do that with Udon. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, uh, any, uh, any final points or any... Uh, Anything you want to plug yourself? Anything you want to say to the, everybody while we wrap it up here? Um, if you like anime, you can, um, and you like when people goof off as anime characters, you could go ahead drop a sub on uh, youtubecom slash Uh Okay. But uh, yeah. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. It's all good. Hey, man, listen. Most people who play VR chat are weebs anyway, so, hey, you already got that market. True. That's, that's a fact. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> that's a fact. But um, I'll wrap it up here. So um, thank you again for coming by. I really do appreciate it. My name, you know, is That One Rebel. I do these talk shows almost every day. I have an interview with Flynn tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just so you guys know. Um... What else does this say? If you haven't followed already, hit that follow button, hit that bell icon. That's where you know when I go live, get that email. Um, you know, if you want to have that Twitch Prime, hey, toss them my way, get some emotes. Just saying. If you want to help me out? I'm yeah, look, I'm, I, hey, go I'm, I'm going to be applying for partners soon. Go for it, people. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, drop, drop the follow on him, everyone. Yeah, and if you haven't already, follow this guy right here. He's cool, man. You want to watch some uh, some YouTube videos, watch some My Hero Academia roleplay. <laughs> You want to see some uh, some interesting uh, interesting role play? Then hey, go check out his YouTube, man. Yeah, yeah, do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Of course. It. Anytime, man. You want to come back fun. Fun. Um, for a podcast, which is where I have multiple people on. You're more than welcome to. Or if you want to just do another one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you're more than welcome. Like I said, def, def. 
definitely down for um in the in the season. next month i should be able to uh, have my new talk show world so i'll have a, a much oh, better yeah. set so yeah yeah for sure dude i'm definitely well definitely intrigued to come back all right pixel you uh we're ready for the picture um do you uh do you want me to toss the raid or the host to you or who do you want me to host or raid uh, Nice, cool. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go live later. So okay. It's all good, man. I'm cool. I appreciate it, though. Thank you.